Hello and welcome back to Opus Magnum. Today, we are going to create a reconstructed solvent. Though we are fortunate the treachery that took place in House Colvin was ultimately exposed, there are still some elements of the crime that have not been fully understood. Why, for example, was Varen Rivari found in an abandoned tailor shop in the Downriver Quarters? A powerful solvent found at the scene suggests the involvement of another highly trained alchemist, perhaps a rival or a co-conspirator. There is one theory, advanced by the more gossip prone, that the young head alchemist of Houseman Tassin survived the initial coven assault and was able to carry out some manner of reprisal from this hidden location, though that seems rather far-fetched. Unfortunately, a satisfactory answer to this riddle may never be found. Still, in the interest of advancing the issue in my own small way, I have endeavored here to reproduce a solvent of the kind I believe the mystery alchemist may have used. So redoing the final puzzle in a fucking tight ass box? You're fucking out of your mind, look at this. So we have this. We're getting lead and salt. Obviously we're gonna need the binder. And obviously we're gonna need this fellow. And then obviously we're going to need the wheel. This is crazy. This is like legitimately crazy. Okay. I mean, I want this here, but that doesn't really work for me. Got some space there, we can do that. That's an option. And then you can be like there, but we're asking we're asking a good bit here. This is so crazy. This is a crazy, crazy swarm. Okay, so Number one's pretty easy. Grab, minus, extend, close, grab, turn, release, extend, grab, and then I guess just destend it and close yourself. And so basically you'll make the uh, tin that we need, and, and that'll be that. We're not really asking too much from the rest of this thing. It's just, this is crazy. This is so crazy. Uh, so you're going to grab, double detent, <laughs> descend, close okay and then grab minus double descend okay that puts us there and we need to start doing this close and I guess you need to spin, spin to get to water. Yeah. 
and then you're going to repeat what you just did. Grab minus double descend. Nope. Right? Yeah, no, that is what I want. Double descend. Pivot. Plus. Close. And then somewhere in here, you're going to triple turn. Ah, oh, already broken. Already broken. Well, it, it's not it's not going to be pretty, but we can put this down here and uh, just change the way we do things. So grab, yeah, we're going to have to rewrite it. Uh, turn, turn, close, and that's going to be grab turn minus turn extend descend pivot plus close and now get oh nope that fucked us over um, do that there and now you're going to repeat please and put this down here yeah we are getting somewhere with this all right do it one more time close and uh, Next is air, so turn twice, and you should actually be able to close at the next one. Oh, what the? Number one, chill the fuck out. Alright, so that gives us all that. Yeah, you're going to go get the air. And then it's just going to get a little, a little fishy, as to as to whether we have the room to manipulate this the way we want to. Could add a little bit of track here to make that happen, but uh, we'll see if we need to. Pivot and uh, plus release for now. Uh, I don't know if I actually want that pivot for now, but we're gonna, you're gonna close. We'll see. We'll see where we're at. Okay, we have all this. Yeah, this is where I think I want you to turn the other way, right? Because now it needs to be... a different connection. could add another bonder here and make this a lot more easy on myself. Honestly, I, I don't know if that's making it easier or if that's the way I have to do this. So let's, let's run to the end of that again. Oh shit, what happened? Okay, I, I think I want you to... Uh, Extend one more time, my man. Then turn it. Ugh. Maybe extend. Plus, and then turn it. Just trying to fit all this in. Okay. Now and then, and then extend it. Boom. Yeah, that's exactly what we need. Except that. No, this is fine. We got it. We, we, we are done. We're done. Uh, okay. Okay. So... Uh, where's the ghost here? Okay. So... Extend... No. No. Just, uh... 
just turn, grab this, double descend, turn, close, grab, turn, minus, turn, plus, pivot, pivot, extend, close, maybe, it depends which way the arm's facing, I kind of lost the arm, oh shit, do you see where that got us? We have it constructed at this point. Boom. You just need to release here. Turn. Minus. Grab. Plus. Close. And you're done. There it is. I'm, I can't believe I pulled that off. But there it is. So one just creates that tin for us, which is awful kind of it. Uh, we could probably do that cheaper. So basically, we don't need arm number one right there. So, let's ditch that. Okay. And then, this all, like everything here. Needs to be just pushed down out of the way. Push all that out of the way. We're just doing this to save money. So two, turn. We'll, we'll, we'll fix that later. Turn, uh, minus, minus. Uh, grab, plus, extend, release, descend, minus. Turn, wait. Grab, turn, release, extend, grab, descend just to, just to make it simple. Uh, descend, plus, turn, extend close. And that should create the tin and put it in that little storage spot. And it does. So now 
We're going to take this stuff and put it all back where it needs to be. And that got rid of a lot of cost. So there you go. We create the tin we need, store it there. Create the pieces we need. Okay, well, one thing. The, sp the bond happens immediately there. I guess it does need to go that way. I, I was wondering if we needed to go forward and back since it was already bonded, but we want to bond the next piece, so. I do think it's necessary. That one's a little weird. I'm a little bit curious about what's happening there. So, we grab here, extend it to get the air, and then Can I can I get rid of those two? I think I probably can. Like just get those out of there, and we're probably still fine, right? Yeah. And then you have the tin. So yeah, that get rid that gets rid of two instructions, and then grab it. And boom, done. All right, fantastic. Did it with with really one arm, because the the bamboo wheel counts as an arm. But it's not really an arm, as far as I'm concerned. But there you go, that's pretty cool. Considering what it looked like when we started, the fact that I was able to do that actually pretty easily, we're just coming up on 17 minutes. Uh, I'm actually really impressed with myself. I am quite impressed with myself. The only real way to do it cheaper, I think, would be to just do it with one binder. Which could probably happen if you tried hard enough. But it looks like nobody has. My question my question would be, would, would the wheel get in the way? And it probably would, so I think I think I've done this as cheap as possible. Maybe I'm mistaken, maybe there is a way to do it better and nobody has happened to do it yet. Hard to say. Instructions right on what most people do. Cycles is really high. But cost is the best possible, so that is a fantastic way to end the series, provided that it has ended. The accomplished alchemical engineer is just as effective, just as effective, under the limitations posed by production environments as when they are working unfettered. And indeed, without dealing with practical considerations, we would never develop ourselves to our truest potential. It is with the hope of enabling as many as possible to reach that potential that I have complete, compiled this book. May the brilliant works of alchemists past inspire us for generations to come. And that, to this point, is all there is. There could be you know, another update. There have been pretty frequently frequent updates. But we will have to see. The future is not known.